Good morning, Mountain Christian Church. Welcome to today's devotional brought from your brother, Chris Willardson. Would you go with me to the Lord right now before we start? Our Father and our God, we come to you this morning and praise you. Thank you that we can be together with our brothers and sisters again. Uh, just pray that you would give us today uh, strength and courage that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit. And Lord, teach us even in this day to listen and follow whatever you are trying to show us. We pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. You know, I'm reminded of Jerry Lee Lewis and Little Richard singing a whole lot of shaking going on. A song that was popular back when I was a teen a long time ago. But seriously, many of us believe God is speaking to us in this shaking time. We read in scripture, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe. Hebrews 12, 28. So my question for the day is this. What is our acceptable service? And I have six quick thoughts to this question. First, would you all rejoice with me today? Rejoice. Jesus said, rejoice that your names are written that they are recorded forever in heaven. And we can also rejoice that many are may, may be coming to the Lord Jesus for the first time. In this time of shaking, we thank you, Lord, for that. Let's stop being anxious. Because God cares for us. God cares for you, 1 Peter 5.7. He's got our back. Let's together let everyone around us see our patience, even in this day. Let's think of someone we can pray for with thanksgiving. Oh, Lord, knowing that the Spirit helps our weakness, for we don't know how we should pray, but the Holy Spirit intercedes for us as we pray. Romans 8.26 What about our neighbor? What about that neighbor that we don't see very often? If you've experienced anything like we have in the last few weeks, it seems like there's a lot more interaction going on on our, on our street. More than in a long time. And in this day of sequester, it's just really interesting. We praise God for this. Let's live in the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension. Yes, Philippians 4, 7. Our minds and hearts being kept in Christ Jesus. And then six, the whatsoever's of Philippians 4. Things true, honest, just, pure, lovely. And right now I'd like to focus on praiseworthy. I'm thinking like praising God. Let your mind dwell on these things, it says in Philippians 4, 8. Let's dwell on these things. I'd like to dwell on these things and particularly on praising God just by starting off with a hymn this morning. I know that many of us love to sing praises. One of the highlights of our Sunday morning services is when we gather to praise God in singing. So get your favorite hymn from a hymn book, from memory, from a CD, from YouTube, or wherever. And don't forget your bucket. You know, just in case you might need it to help carry a tune. Let me interject something before we do that. You know, it seems like appropriate in this day to listen to a quote from National Institutes of Health Director Francis Collins. 
prominent scientist and Christian witness regarding his view of music. Quote, Music provides glimpses of what C.S. Lewis called joy. Gives us a glimpse of something intensely desirable. It can provide a way to the awesome goodness and loving kindness of God himself. Yes? Let me, let me get a hymn on. Amen. I trust that you'll have a great day today.